Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today this video is a hot mess. Um, so this is a look that I created and it took some trial and error but finally got it to a point where I wanted it. Um, so it's more of like a like shimmery orangey kind of like the sunsetty vibe with like the ocean underneath with that teal inner corner super reflective um everything i use will be listed in the description box below and if you're interested in how i got this look or just watching me be a hot mess for like 15 minutes keep on watching all right so i have my brows done and i just used the milani stay put brow color and then i set it with a deep bronzer in the makeup revolution roxy highlight and contour palette Ooh. Um, so this is the, what is this? The Elizabeth Mott Thank Me Later Eyeshadow Primer. So I'm just going to slap this on. That was a lot that I got on. Holy cow. That was quite a bit. But I'm just going to spread this around. I'm not the biggest fan of this eyeshadow primer. I'm not going to lie. I just want to use it because I have it. Um, I did get it in a boxy charm, and I don't know. I'm just not a fan of it. Like I wish I knew <laughs> what it was gonna be like before I started using it. Um, but I'm gonna go in with the Makeup Revolution uh, Tammy X Revolution Tropical Twilight Palette. This palette is so beautiful, you guys. I mean, like, hello, stunning. Look at those colors. So, um, the look that I want to do today is going to be kind of like. Well, you saw it in the intro, so let's just jump right in with what I'm going to start with. So um, on the top, I'm going to start with Sunrise, this orangey color right here. And I'm just going to start by packing this. Oh my gosh. I, that was not a clean brush. Dang it. Well, now I have to do it to the other side. Now I'm just upset at myself. This was not a clean brush when I started with it. Still has like brown eyeshadow in it. Crap. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with an actual clean brush into Sunrise, which is this like orangey, deeper orangey color. And I'm just going to pack this. Um, and I really want this to be super vibrant so I'm just gonna pack the color on to begin with and because the primer that I laid down is still wet it's best to like pack on the shadows by like dabbing them on and then blending them out so it doesn't get all patchy and stuff from a wet base and then I am going to wing out the shadow pretty dramatically and connect that up here. Okay, so I'm gonna go into Sunset, which is the shimmer. Um, it's an orangey, a lighter orange shimmer. And I'm just going to pack this right on my lid, kind of in like a cut crease fashion without actually doing a cut crease. Because I'm lazy. I've told you guys that before, but I'm lazy. Plus, I wanted like these shadows to blend in really well together, so um, I didn't lay down any NYX glitter glue or anything like that, which is what I would normally do with like a regular pressed shimmer. Um, but I honestly thought this was one of the putty shimmers until I stuck my brush in it and realized that it wasn't. The putty shimmers, you do not need any type of like primer or tacky base they're so gorgeous and I'll be using one of those later so you'll be able to see it now to clean up my mess I am just gonna take a baby wipe because I don't I don't have makeup remover wipes because I don't believe in them <laughs> um, you could say most of them have an ingredient in them that I'm allergic to so I actually can't use most like store-bought makeup remover wipes 
which is why I did go ahead and um, I've purchased multiple of those like reusable cloths that you can you can just use those over and over again to remove your makeup and they're better for the environment so I'm gonna prime my face with the elf poreless putty primer which is my favorite primer um, this is the one that I use daily I don't really use many other um, face facial primers this is the ColourPop pretty fresh hyaluronic hydrating foundation and I'm just gonna take that on a ColourPop sponge because I'm obsessed with ColourPop who isn't everyone should be and get my hair out of the way I'm just gonna dab this kind of all over I got it in my hair this is not a day a day for me it's it's been a day and I also used the elf hydrating camo concealer and then I used the makeup revolution luxury baking powder in banana so now I'm ready to move on um, I did slightly bake under my under eyes just because if there is any fallout I want to make sure that I catch it um, also I just wanted to point out my eyes do look kind of red on camera I have such bad seasonal allergies and they are kicking my butt right now. Um, I'm going to take this angled purple brush. I don't even know where it's from. Um, I think I got it on Amazon. And I'm going to go into the color Nightfall right here, which is the really dark blue. And I'm just going to press this right under my lash line. Okay, so I have this really, really tiny Morphe pencil brush, and I'm going to go into the color Afterglow, which is that really, oh, not Afterglow, I'm sorry, Nightfall. And I am just going to kind of smoke it out and bring it into that inner corner. I don't want a lot of pigment on my inner corner. I just want a little bit. So on a separate small press to brush I'm going to go into the color Night Sky which is this like really beautiful light blue putty shimmer and I am just going to go over Nightfall with this just to get that lighter blue pigmentation in there and also add a little bit of that shimmer. Okay, and taking this very small Ulta Beauty flat pressed brush, I'm gonna go into the color Starry Night, which is the one right next to it. It's like a teal um, putty shimmer. And I'm gonna pop this. This brush sucks for that. I switched brushes. I have this really tiny like Eco Tools pointed brush, but it seems to be picking up the shimmer better than that Ulta brush. Because like I said, these are putty shimmers, um, very similar to the ColourPop Super Shock formula or consistency. Okay, so here's what I did. I completely wiped off the winged end and kind of brought it inward a little bit, um, and then just kept the blue on the bottom. The only thing that I don't like is that I can't find my favorite inner corner brush to adjust um, how this inner corner looks because I want it to be that light, bright, vibrant blue, but this one just wasn't, Starry Night just wasn't what I was really kind of looking for. So maybe if I put that over the white. Oh yeah, now it's got a nice reflect to it. Super brightness, which is what I kind of wanted to go for. So, what do you think? This look has really put me through the ringer, but I'm going to complete it anyway. So I'm just going to go in with the Essence Super Precise Eyeliner. And then I'm going to go in with the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. So I'm just going to brush off the excessive powder I don't know I feel like maybe this look 
isn't like bad by any means and I'm just over analyzing it because I don't typically wear like super colorful eyeshadow but now that I'm like really looking at it I'm like hey that, that's actually pretty cool I just had to figure out how I wanted to do it for myself make sense I just needed to be more comfortable with it oh my gosh totally forgot to start the crock pot um so where I live, it's like becoming fall, right? So I was thinking, what better way to kick off fall than to make a big batch of chili? You know what I'm saying? You know? Anyone? Okay, I am actually like kind of proud of this look right now. Um, so anyway, that was the Makeup Revolution Mega Bronzer in O2 Warm. And then this is the Milani baked blush in luminoso so i'm just gonna pop this on because it's kind of like that really orangey toned um blush but it's like a brighter orangey toned blush i like a lot of blush then i'm gonna go into the ColourPop super shock highlighter in flexitarian this is so reflective and beautiful um, if I was doing a project pan, this would be a part of it because I've had this for so long, I feel like, but it's gorgeous. Like, how can you say anything other than that? It's a really intense highlighter, so, um, I know some people don't really like that, but I like to glow. I'm actually going to use this as my brow highlight because it's beautiful and reflective. So this is the ColourPop Libby Pencil in O Snap. It's my favorite, in case you can't tell from how freaking small it is. And then I'm just gonna go over that with the ColourPop Ultra Blotted Lip in Starling. You know what I think as well? And this is just like a totally random thought. With having to wear masks right now, is there a point to even putting anything on my lips? But then I look at my makeup look and I'm like, yeah, I should probably complete my face. Um, so I'm going to go in with the Milani Make It Last setting spray. So after today, with how wrong things started out, I am actually really, really liking this look. Um, I like the little the beachy waves with the like sunsetty ocean type of eyeshadow. So anyways, um, trust the process guys. If you have something that you think up that is creative and you want to apply it to whatever look you want to do, just keep going with it and change things up as you go. Like it was it really was not hard for me to like touch up the ends and actually make this a look that I am confident in. And I, I think it's fantastic. I think I, I love it so much. Like I really did not think that I was going to like it with the way that everything was going, but I'm impressed with myself. I, I rarely dabble in color like this. So I really, really like it. And I hope you guys did too. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it more than you'll ever know. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you feel like it. But I will see you guys in my next one.